Do you want to know how I created this image with a cell phone flashlight and some layers in Photoshop? It's easier than it looks. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video tutorial, you'll learn how to use layers and masking to combine multiple light painted images quickly and easily to create a stunning final image. So if you're ready to learn all the tricks and tips, let's begin. Okay, so light painting, I've got one up here from Cuba, is when you are taking a subject and adding light yourself, okay? So in this case, which one would I put on the bottom? So the question that Danelle asked, which one goes on the bottom this time? So this was a car that we found on the street in Trinidad in Cuba, and the headlights were not on. I turned them on with my my um, light. We actually used a cell phone light. We didn't even have a flashlight. So Rob was doing the light painting. Um, you can actually see his legs right here. Okay. So which one of these would put, would go on the bottom, the darkest one. Okay. So this one in the middle here is going to be my bottom layer. Okay. So let's do the same thing and layer these up. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop or back to Photoshop with these. And I've already done some edits in Lightroom on these. So they're processed how I want to open them. Okay. So I'm going to right click, open as layers one more time. So these are raw files, Marguerite. So I am opening the raw files this time in Photoshop. Okay. So I think these are already open. Okay. So it didn't take that much longer to open the raw files. Okay. So once again, I've got the same thing. Okay. So I'm just going to start and I'm looking for the one that's darkest. So far that one looks the darkest. See how they're all brighter. Okay. So this one here that I've got turned on is going to be the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to drag that down to the bottom. Right. And I can turn them all on and do align layers, but I don't see anything that's moving. You can kind of know if you've got an alignment issue. Um, and as I turn them all off and on, I'm not seeing the car move. So I'm not going to worry about doing the alignment this time. Okay. So let's do them all at once. So I'm going to turn them all on. So select all the layers except the bottom one. Okay. And you can change the blend mode all at one time. So now I'm just going to choose lighten et voila. Okay. Now we can go back and choose to um, mask out any parts if we want. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to this bottom layer. I'm clicking option or uh, I guess it's alt option, alt option on the bottom eyeball and it turns off all the other layers and do one at a time for masking, okay? Because clearly we don't want Rob's legs and there's some sort of a little ghosty thing up here. That's probably Rob. But he was turning the headlights on, okay, with the flashlight, okay? By putting the um, your flashlight or your whatever you're using as your light source right up into the headlights and just turning it around like that, you will get the headlights turning on, okay? So that's what he was doing. So I'm gonna mask this one, oops. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it on my my um, screen. That's the video feed, not on my actual Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to mask this one, and I'm going to use the black paintbrush. Make sure that I've got a soft brush, so I just right clicked it, and I'm just going to paint over these bits here. Okay, remember I'm erasing. Okay, so black erases. Get rid of these legs. There we go. Okay, now notice that the license plate has an issue there as well. So if I want the license plate showing, but I don't want the legs, I have to be really careful with this painting here. Okay, so I need a smaller brush and zoom in a little bit. Okay, because I don't want the legs showing up there. But I think I think there's some other layers that have some light on the on this area. So let's just do the next one. Okay. So there's the next one. What I'll do is I'll toggle it on and off to see what it's doing. Okay. I'm not sure if I want the ground lit up. I kind of like the ground being darker because there's just a shadow there. There's a little bit of a ghost over here that I don't want. And there's also another little ghost over here. So in this case, I might actually just 
paint in where I want it. So I'm going to create a mask, but then I'm going to invert it. Okay. So you can invert your mask by just clicking command or control I and it makes it black. Okay. Then I can switch the colors X B for brush. And then I can just paint in. So see where I'm painting. I'm just painting in here. So I'm just painting in the light on the front, right? So now, and I miss a bit. There we go. So now I can see what it's doing. So I didn't get the part on the ground or any of those other bits. So I could have chosen to paint out everything else, but I found it was easier to paint in a smaller area, right? Let's do the next one. Right. Once again, it's got some neat color on the ground this time, more ghosts over here, and then a big light trail. Right? I find that it's getting a little too bright, though, on the car, and there's some highlights there. So I'm going to dial this one down a little bit so you can lower the opacity of the layer. See that? And I don't want the one in the, in the street here to be so bright. So I've dialed it down to about 80% opacity. And then I'm still going to mask it because I don't want this, this highlight or this ghost over here. I think somebody walked by on the street and I don't want it in front of the car. I want to keep it nice and dark here. Okay, see that? You can also change your opacity of your brush. So I can paint with 50% opacity and keep the street a little bit darker in this corner. But you see how it's got some nice light under the car now? Right. I'm actually going to remove it from here too, because I find that it's kind of losing contrast. It's lighting up too much of the side of the car. I want to keep some texture. I want to keep some texture. So I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts and you could also be using a tablet. I don't have my tablet plugged in right now, but you could be using a tablet. My tablet is over there, my new one. I talked about that last week. Next layer, same thing. Okay, so I can just decide which part do I want. Do I want to light up this background? Mm, maybe. Again, maybe it's too bright, so I can just dial it down a little bit. So I get like this faded look. Okay. Now, if you want to do a black mask like I did here, just hold your Alt Option key and press the mask button down here and you get a black mask to start right then it's all hot hidden okay so then i have to switch to a white brush to paint it in okay so i'm going to go to 100 percent. see that's painting in this area that's brightening the wall as well do i want that maybe not okay so i get to decide do I want to brighten the wall? I don't think so. I just want this light trail here. I just want the light trail. If you want to see what it looks like without the mask, hold down the shift key. Okay, it, it temporarily disables the mask so you can see what it's doing on the entire image. Okay, and I think I'm going to give it a little bit of light up here, okay, like so. Where else? There's light under the car. So maybe I'll give it a little bit of texture on these rocks here. And that's it. Last one. Is it doing anything? Okay, we got another highlight coming through. And I'm not sure that I like it, but I like what's happening over here. So I'm going to do a black mask again. Hold the option key. Get a white brush. I'm painting at 50%. Let's paint at 100%. There's that nice orange highlight. See that? Oh, there's an orange highlight on the front of the car. Maybe I want this one like that. That's kind of cool. And there was some kind of highlight over here. Oh, I missed the one up here. So let's get this one. like so. So see how I'm layering it one by one here? Let's get the whole image. So there is the bottom layer. Turn on the lights. Right? 
and this is fully editable. Okay. So if I decide I want to edit anything again, just check your layers. Ground is maybe too bright. So let's say I want to darken that one. So I dial this one down to 80%. I'm going to dial it down a little bit more. Maybe I want to have less of the ground on this one. So I can come back and change my mask. I don't want the ground so bright. Right? So it's all up to you. Again, I'm just going to do Command S to save and Command W to close. And then when it's done, it will come back to Photoshop. Right? So there's the PSD. Now, just for just for fun, let me see how different it is to the one that I did before. Let's look at them side by side. Okay, which one is the new one here? Oops. Okay, so the one on the left is my original edit, and the one on the right is the one that I just did, right? Neither is right or wrong. They're just slightly different, right? I've got brighter highlights over here on this one. But I actually like the car better in this one. I like that the shadow side is a little bit shadowier, right? Notice the highlight here though on the on the headlight is brighter here. So this one got missed somehow and I think that I did that in Lightroom actually. So again, remember you could bring that back into Lightroom when you're done and continue editing. So I'm just going to check my editing here. No, I probably did that in like in Photoshop because it looks like there's no there's no Lightroom edits here. Okay. But we could do that here. Okay. So what if you didn't get the headlights turned on? You can actually do that here in Lightroom or in Luminar. Okay. Now, if I wanted to do these same things in Luminar that I'm just doing here, I would have to, you would have to edit each of the layers, okay? All the ones that I pulled into Photoshop. You'd have to edit them all separately export six JPEGs and then pick your base one to work on and then add each of the others as layers. So it's a little bit more involved because you don't have that open as layers to do that all automatically for you. So you'd have to add them one by one and mask them one by one, which isn't the end of the, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not horrible. It just takes you a little bit longer, but then you can see what each layer is doing. Okay. So let's say I want to turn the headlights on on this one, but I didn't do that when I photographed it. Okay. So part of this one got missed. Okay. You could do that really easily um, with a radio filter. You can do this in light in Luminar as well. Okay. So you can just use a radio gradient, put it over the headlight. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So I'm trying to get it to fit. Okay. So fitting the headlight. And then literally all I'm going to do is just brighten the exposure, right? There's a bit of shadow in there, so I can bring the shadows up. I can bring the blacks up, bring everything up. See that? So you're just brightening it. If I wanted to, I could even make it look yellow, right? But that's just simply turning on the headlight. You could also do some minus texture and minus clarity, which makes it look more glowy. See that? See how it glows a bit more? Dehaze as well, right? So dehaze solves this problem of having that dark bit in there. That looks pretty good. So you can see there's tiny bit of texture, but we've eliminated that black area. Okay. Easy to fix the headlight. For more Photoshop education and tips, check out Photoshop for Photographers, my complete course that's available in our DPM store. There's a link in the description area below for you. To watch another video here on YouTube, just click one on the screen now.